Hi, I'm going to talk about gay rights and equality. Uh, now, there's a lot of opposition, mostly from religious nuts. And I want to talk about that. As a straight person who's married to my wife, I respect gays for several reasons. They are an asset to society. They pay all parents' welfare. Yes, all parents are on welfare. From socialist public schools, to huge child tax credits, to so many other benefits like insurance plans through empl employers and such. Usually if you have one kid or a married couple, it counts as a family. Whether it's the same price if you have three or four kids or very uh, modestly goes up. So my point is there's so many benefits that they take for granted. And you can read this book, um, very good book. I suggest, um, but all parents are on welfare in many forms. There's 450,000 kids and teenagers in the foster care system waiting to be adopted, and they're very easy to adopt, so anti-birth control religious people can shush and do their research for a change instead of parrot things. Um, so gays and childless are paying this welfare. We do not have any kids going to schools but we are paying thousands of dollars a year, several thousand a year, to pay for your socialist public schools. Meanwhile, I can go without health care, because that's socialism. Your meat is on welfare, too. Tons of it. But on average, everyone gets about two hundred and fifty dollars to $300,000 per kid over 18 years. This is from the school. School system eating up a lot of it. K through 12, very expensive. Um, the health care, even if they're not on Medicare or whatever, um, or Medicaid, whatever, I mix those two up. But um, there's so many benefits they get. Huge child tax credits, writing off daycare costs and everything. Who do you think pays for that? They're not paying their fair share. We are paying them child support. This is one of the reasons why I respect gays totally, and they don't overpopulate. Like I said, there's nearly half a million kids and teenagers in the USA foster care system that are costing us a lot. Easy to adopt and free. They'll even pay you to take a special needs one. But the anti-birth control people are not for that. Um, they're about conception nonsense. Well, they eat their Chick-fil-A, and baby back ribs. <laughs> um, but conception matters, yeah. The day after pill is murder, though. All right, but they don't want to help any. But these religious bigots and sexists should love gays and childless like I do for being the biggest asset to society. There's 8 billion people. We don't need tons more. You can pause it to read it longer. Thank you. And thank you, gays, for being an asset to society. We don't need more people.